How's it going everyone? Today I have an ice machine. So you can see we're locked out here. So all we do is turn off, turn back on. And we are getting two flashes. All right, so let's pull up a service manual and we have safety limit number two. So if the harvest time reaches three and a half minutes, the control board automatically returns the ice machine to the free cycle. And depending on if you have a black or orange microprocessor, um, it'll lock it out after either three consecutive uh, harvest errors or 500 consecutive errors. All right, so let's go ahead and start a cycle here. So first thing I wanna check is my water circuit. So as you guys know, I always break it up into three circuits, water, refrigeration, and electrical. And usually the coil's dirty is the reason why uh, this ice won't drop off. But in this case, it's, it's good. You can see it's really clean, this machine. Well, not really clean, but clean enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and gauge up. And as you can see, our water thickness probe is starting to sense. And we're getting 35 and 182 on our pressures. All right, so we are now in a harvest. So let's watch our pressures and see what happens. And our suction pressure is getting up to 70. Our head pressure is dropping pretty low here. And let's just hit fast forward really quickly here. And as you can see, our suction pressure is dropping. We never got above 68 on our low side. And we're dropping, dropping, dropping in pressure. So it's probably, this coil is probably not getting hot enough to drop the batch of ice. And still no action here. And we're definitely not going to get hot enough to drop the ice. And we started a new cycle and ice did not drop. Alright, so I'm going to go run another cycle. I want to see if my hot gas valve is opening. So as you can see here on T1 and T2, uh, we have 63 on one side of the valve, 60 on the other side. So that tells me the valve is opening. Now the temperatures are not exactly the same. That's because I have a 3 8 line on one side and a quarter inch copper line on the other side. So the quarter inch line I can't read super accurately with these um, temperature clamps. And then let's just go test the valve. We are getting power on the valve. It is flowing through. So that's telling me this hot gas valve is opening. It's doing its job. But as you can see on the suction pressure, um, we're just not getting high enough on the suction pressure. All right, so that harvest cycle just completed. You can see our top end here on the low side was 59 PSI, definitely not high enough or hot enough, sorry. So what we're gonna do now is I just wanna look at our suction pressure for earlier when we checked the suction pressure, we're late in the cycle. So I just want to jot this down. So we're around, let's call it 48, 47. And then our head pressure earlier was 182. All right, so let's just pull up our operating pressures chart here from the service manual. So during the free cycle, our suction pressure should be 50 to 36. So we are getting 48, so we're good there. And then our discharge pressure should be 225 to 235. So we're getting around 183. So we definitely have an issue there. So we either have a low charge, we could have an expansion valve issue. Um, I don't think we have a low charge because we're getting 50 here. So what I think is happening is this um, water regulating valve was never set correctly from when it was installed. And then during our harvest cycle, so here's our biggest issue, our discharge pressure should be 160 to 180, but our suction pressure should be around 180 to 110. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go adjust the water pressure regulating valve and we're going to bump up the head pressure as close as we can get to 225 to 235 and our ambient's actually closer to 70 so that actually doesn't change any of the figures except for the discharge pressure and the suction pressure during the harvest cycle. So we're aiming for let's call it an 80 to 85 suction but we're going to adjust the water regulating valve during the free cycle and try to aim for 225 to 235. 
just going to adjust our water pressure regulating valve. So I'm at 200 now. And we're going to try to get as close to 225, 235. So I got the 226. All right, we are in a harvest cycle. And you can see by T1, T2, our valve has opened. All right, our suction pressure is up to 79, 81, 82, 83. Okay, our head pressure is maintaining 170. And our suction pressure is starting to drop a little bit, which is fine. No ice is starting to melt off here. You can see by the little water line there. There you go. Water's just coming across. We are melting. And the ice is sliding off the coil. fall out of the curtain bang we are good here now final pressure 75 and 155 All right, so I adjusted the head pressure to 235 so as you can see that's bumped up my suction pressure up to 93 which is really nice it puts my head pressure at 180 okay we're about to drop ice but our suction pressure is starting to drop our head pressure starting to drop which is a little bit of a concern and we're down to 79 and 163 and our final pressure is 78 and 162 alright so luckily I have a second machine here so I can compare what's supposed to happen so as you can see here we started harvest cycle we're around 87 suction our head pressures around 180 but look at our suction pressure it's maintaining okay it's at 88 now 87 our head pressure is 170 182 so we're not dropping below that 180 and 87 and we're getting close to the end of the cycle so we had there 88 and 180 and we're getting ready to slide some ice off the coil here our coils getting nice and hot and we're getting ready to drop out the bottom of the curtain and here comes the ice and bang we're all good on the coil. alright so let's just quickly review how our harvest cycle works so let's just start by going through a normal cycle so we come up through our compressor we come through our condenser in this case it's a water cool condenser it's gonna come through all here let's just draw this really quickly okay we got our receiver dryer and then we're going to come to our expansion valve. In this case, it's a TXV. And then we're going to come through our coil here. Okay. And then as you can see here, this is our hot gas valve right here. So right now it's going to be in the closed position. Okay. We're not going to have power on it. As we showed earlier with our magnetic field detector, we'll get power during the harvest cycle. And then we're just going to come, kind of come through here. I'm just going to draw this super quickly. It's a little bit messy. And then we're just going to come back to our compressor. Okay. And then we're just going to continue our cycle. And it's just going to go into a loop. Okay. Let me clear this really quickly. All right. So now when we go into a harvest cycle, this hot gas valve is going to open. Okay. So we're going to come out of our compressor. And we're going to come here. This valve is going to be open. So we're going to come through here. And now we're going to go through our coil. Okay. As we go through our coil, as you can see down here, there's high pressure vapor. And once we get, you know, kind of halfway through the coil, we're going to go into low pressure vapor. Okay. And that's important because obviously we don't want to damage the compressor. And we're just going to keep coming through our coil. Okay. So instead of the suction pressure coming through here being whatever it was, 50, when water was running across the coil, we're looking for a pressure of 85 PSI and above. Okay, if we're below that, we're not going to be able to melt the ice off this coil. So as we saw in the other one, I was getting 89 PSI on that valve that I had adjusted to 235, uh, 235 head pressure. I was getting 89, but it was dropping down to 79, 77, 
and then the head pressure was not maintaining so it was dropping down below 160. So if we pull up our chart here really quickly so we need to maintain 170 to 190 and 85 that's for the complete cycle. So in our case we were coming here we were getting 88 to start but by the end of the cycle we were getting around 77 psi okay so that means that water pressure regulating valve it was not doing its job it should have maintained 170 head and what was happening was the head pressure was dropping so as the head pressure is dropping the suction pressure is going to drop with it so in this example here um, we need a water pressure regulating valve so this unit's probably like I think it was a 2005 model. So we're looking at a 17 year old unit. I've put a recommendation to change the valve. This calls probably from like four weeks ago. Um, they have not called back with any harvest issues. So for now, we're gonna leave it as is. They're gonna need a valve and they're probably gonna just end up getting a new machine um, instead of changing the valve. But for now, the unit's working. And that's all we can do for now is make our recommendations and let the customer decide from there.